Hi, I'm Mike Thornton, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour around Cinematic Rooms Professional from Liquid Sonics. The aim of this video is to help you get started. The left hand side of Cinematic Rooms handles all the early reflections, whilst everything on the right is to do with the reverb tails. In the centre are the controls for the reverb decay time and frequency contouring. At the bottom, we have the metering, mix and level controls. And as it's the professional version, we also have a comprehensive filter section. You'll notice that each section of Cinematic Rooms Professional has a number of tabs to enable access to any of the controls. This has the benefit that the controls are a sensible size and grouped intelligently. To assist the user to access multiple planes, Liquid Sonics have developed a really clever workflow for navigating and giving the user a way of seeing what settings have been changed across the different planes of a Dolby Atmos sound field. When you load a preset and then enable Surround Parameter Plane Editing, as soon as a parameter has been changed, you can instantly see where the changes are and how many of the parameters have been changed. It's all very clear and without costing lots of user interface space. Cinematic Rooms uses an ingenious icon that represents the different planes. Front, rear, center, side and elevation. To see which specific parameters have been changed, there's a similar miniature icon under every control. If it's grayed out, then there are no changes across the planes for that control whereas highlighted dots immediately show which planes of that parameter have been changed. You can choose to hide this feature, safe in the knowledge that it's all working in the background. What's more, when you adjust the master, the edited planes change to maintain the appropriate relative offset. This works across all the relevant controls, so that when you adjust the master, the controls on the other planes will track and stay in step. When it comes to the way the reverb propagates across the sound field, you can configure cinematic rooms so that the sound from any channel will spread and propagate into all the channels. Or you can limit the propagation to stay within the stereo planes, that's front left and right, side left and right, and rear left and right, using the true stereo setting. Or you can disable all crossfeed propagation so that the reverb stays with the channel the audio is coming from. Not only can you set the crossfeed propagation with the crossfeed control, we can also control the amount of crossfeed, something you may not find in your current surround reverb. In post, we don't just have to deal with big spaces. We often need to place the sound in smaller domestic spaces. Here, the early reflections in a reverb can often be so close together you end up with comb filtering that badly colours the sound. Not with cinematic rooms. Liquid Sonics have developed a way where you don't get any early reflection comb filtering even with the smallest of spaces, giving you crystal clear small rooms. Massive infrastructure. So if it's a case of just putting some Cat 5 through the building, then I think this is genius. Usually, in a conventional reverb plugin, if you wanted to push the early reflections away from the sound, you may well reach for the pre delay control. But in cinematic rooms, the proximity control lets you set the distance of the listener from the sound source. Post production facilities in four streets, and most of them are in buildings uh, that are uh, higgledy piggledy, they've got all sorts of walls in the way. You also have the more familiar pre delay control available in cinematic rooms to push the body of the reverb away from the sound. Plus a late reverb delay for echo, and both of these can be synchronized to tempo. Cinematic Rooms Professional comes with a comprehensive selection of presets, all organized by type, including a dedicated post folder. As the name suggests, there are lots of believable rooms in this plugin, but trust me, it's not just a post tool. It's great for music production too. If you prefer to think in terms of reverb time, then that's not a problem. You can filter the presets to only show you the presets within a range of reverb times. 
In this example, we can filter for small rooms with a reverb time of up to 0.75 seconds. To remove the filter, just go back into the filter options and select no filter. Have you ever been frustrated when auditioning presets that you find key parameters change from preset to preset, which make it hard to choose which one is going to work? With cinematic rooms, there's the option to lock any parameter so that when you change presets, the locked parameters stay the same, enabling you to audition a range of presets with matching parameters. To save time, you can also choose to lock all the reflection parameters or all the parameters connected to the reverb. One last thing I want to show you. With cinematic rooms, you can resize the plugin so that you can see lots of detail or save desktop real estate. You decide by setting the user interface size that suits you. This getting started video has been a lightning fast primer to help get you up and running fast. I do recommend downloading the manual to help you get the best from this powerful yet ingeniously simple reverb plugin.